I'll read. Read. Got the data shard from Hans. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send it to him. No worries. This connection is secure. Zipping now. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the mod. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Until then. Alrighty. I also don't think we have anything else to do right now. Uh, what is this one? I thought we were done with that. For the rest... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I really thought we were done with that, but I guess we can do that first. Sure. Telling the truth. Uh, let's go by car this time. Uh, also go install. Be well protected in this area. There you go. Um, well, I didn't know that was, <laughs> I didn't know that the trip was that short. Okay, we arrived. Oh, okay. Love to see plans work out. Okay. Scratch, you were promised. Here. What happened to Aaron? Aaron. What awaits him? He's our guy. We'll take care of him. Guess he thought he could get rid of the chip and the past. But that just ain't how it works. I think he understands that now. Um, not it over. Don't Gotta want your cast. Call it the payment for Aaron's procedure. You know what, Angie? Giving us some thought. You keep the scratch. In exchange, get that fucking chip out of his head. Touching, but you earned it. Every last ed. Take it. As for the chip, we'll think on it. Maybe once Aaron proves he'll behave, deserves our trust. Till then, we like having the option. No easy way out. Oh well. Nothing that we can do about it, really. An interesting item of business. Has fallen into my lap. Lina Malina, a local BD celebrity, claims she has been kidnapped and currently being held against her will in a BD rental studio called Brain Orium. Lina seeks a merc who will free her from her captor's crutches. All in all, it would be a credible, solid assignment, but not for the fact that I failed to confirm the client's identity. The data I received from her is at odds in several places with what my trusted sources tell me. As such, I will not be playing middleman in this matter. However, could you be inclined, I've sent the coordinates to relate to me. I, meanwhile, would do as the Romans do, wash my hands of the matter. Okay. 
Lena who? Never heard of her. Usually stick to the mindful BDs. Being real into scop grilling competitions too. Now that's what I call entertainment. Oh. Lena Malina. Sounds familiar. I think I saw a poster or something. I can't say I've been following her career, if one can call it such. Yet, as always, I aim to keep my finger on the pulse of things. Okay. Just don't know what exactly happened there, but shame a gifted boy will waste away with the animals, hoping he can be helped. But life has a way of complicating things, I guess. Yeah. Sorry about that. New job. All right. Let's. Let's say. Eh? Oh, okay. Oh, we also have points. Okay, sure. Um, can just put. Yeah, let's put something in here so we can unlock this one. And uh, pay it forward. After retrieving a strong knife or axe from an enemy, a first melee attack with a trouble weapon gains two hundred percent damage. Okay. 20% more critical damage for 8 seconds whenever Juggler is activated. Juggler activated. Oh, you need to enable it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. But it's. But it's enabled automatically. I guess not. Do that one too. Alrighty. Yeah, I lost a job. Uh, dazed and confused. Rescue Lina from a BD store. 85 meters away. Okay, that's pretty close. Yep. Alright, let's do a rescue. Hello? What a fucking mess. Like the place is robbed. Finger on the train, V. How much longer will you keep me here? I need to like get to my fucking nails done. The studio will make you pay for this. What the hell? Millions lost. The hell's this? Great question. This Torvald is keeping me locked here against my will. Mm -hmm. I am Lena Molina, Queen Bitch of Dogtown. Listen, get me out of here and I'll... I'll let you take me out to dinner. Maybe. Guess it's your lucky day. Hey, sweet cheeks, um. eyes up. Stay at my tits long enough. Bash this asshole in the head and take me home. Put a sock in it, dumbass. <clears throat> Gonk in the boots, my friend, and a uh, partner, Tool. And here I thought we had a fucked up partnership. <laughs> okay. Let's go upstairs before he gets too riled up. I'll explain everything. Um, can't wait. This ought to be fun. This is gonna be good. Can feel it. Jesus Christ. Fuck! I should be scrolling. You're tanking my sales, my popularity. Mark my words, assholes. My boys will find me. They'll bust me out of this shithole. Tool's been a diehard fan of Lena since the beginning. Relives all her BDs. This being Dogtown, a few days ago we had a power surge. BD Wreath was pulling juice while Tool was, well, being Lena. BD got stuck in his head, sizzled his synapses. Ooh. Ever since then, he thinks he's the real Lena Molina. Talks like her, acts like her, the whole works. Figuring as you're already a witness to this whole mess, might have a job for you. 
Tell me more about Lena. Who's this Lena chick anyway? She scrolls BDs. Gonzo content in sparkly packaging. Okay. Runs with a gang, fucks DJs, snorts designer drugs, and tears up the streets and tricked out rides while squirting lead out the window. Uh, two need a ripper doc. Your chum needs a ripper stat. Take it you want to get him some help? Ah, no need. Two will get back to normal in no time. Said you're here. Willing to pay top eddies if you can help with a little something. Go on. It's about capitalizing on the present state of affairs. Catch my drift? I don't know. Ah, <sighs> look. Stores barely staying afloat. Nobody's buying our squirrels and Hansons, bleeding us dry in rent. Yeah, heads, Nova, catches your eye. But let's not kid ourselves. Folks in Dogtown ain't ample of the wallet. Um, how exactly am I supposed to help you save the store? You want to attract more customers, I get it. But where do I fit into all this? Gotta stay and keep an eye on Tool. Make sure he doesn't off himself or break something. You go get Lena and bring her here for a BD shoot. We'll do a collab. Call it Double Gang Banger. Mm hmm. Lena gets content for an episode. Store's rep gets a boost from her fans. Win win. Not afraid Tool might stay like this forever? Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post virtue. Trust me, I've seen it all. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Cause right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. Lena's famous. Convincing her won't be easy. Lena's rich and famous. Probably gets offers like these all the time. What makes you think she won't just blow us off? Ain't that simple. Markets herself like a star because that's what sells. But in reality, she's still waiting for that big break. Okay. All right. I mean, give me the address. Okay, I'll get Lena down here. Just need her address. Sent. If we scroll something preem, I'll throw in a little extra. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. What, what could go, go wrong? wrong? Ought to help this poor gonk, not scroll him like some zoo animal. What would you do? Talk to a ripper? Or someone who knows a thing or two about virtues? Hmm. Um. Thanks, Judy, for advice about the two. Yeah, let's do that. Judy? You ever hear of a case where someone disconnects from the ranch but gets stuck believing they are the person they were living in the BD? Why do you ask? What happened? A uh, new tomb of mine had an accident recently. A local net power surge overloaded his ranch and toasted the circuits. Guy's been living his life thinking he's this BD star ever since. Sure, yeah, not unheard of. Could have been a compulsive user. Maybe a massive hardware failure. In my line of work, we like to call it Disassociative Identity Detective Dense on Set or DIDDO for short. Okay. If the condition doesn't sort itself out, you need to use. What we call the divi divided attention method. You show him one thing that's uniquely personal, another that represents the personality they are taken on. The resulting cognitive disassociations could snap him out of it. Okay. Thanks. Uh, what does Victor? Tells us about this. Uh, you ever heard a search where a BD user gets stuck, believing they're still the per other person even after taking off the wrench? Rough. I 
Did I send two messages? Well, I'm no physician. But she's not dressed, but this is ringing a bell from back when I was still cutting my teeth as a fletching ripper. In those days, it's known in a field as induced identity. I remember, I remember it cut some bus in the 50s too. Some kind of issue with the wrath of the time. A number of those patients still haven't recovered. Okay. Cases have been common enough to be decently well documented. First treatment. Psychology therapy had some success. A pharmaceuticals, not so much. Key in inducing cognitive dissonance in patients by exposing them to something personal from their true reality. You undermine the adapted one, or so the theory goes. It's worth keeping in mind though that patients in such unstable state exhibit high mental plasticity, making them, the, making them subsid suitable to suggestion and manipulation so watch your words they like you to take anything you say at face value potentially further reinforcing their adapted identity okay that's a lot of expensive words by the way okay within selena selena comes off as a basic bitch in her bds apparently in real space she's smarter than she looks and negotiates like an old time fixer. Still, everyone knows her weak spot is Eddie's. And breaking into the BD big leagues. Try using that to get their foot in the door. Okay. Find something that carries sentimental value for the tool. Yeah, I feel like if we do that, then he will snap out. Because if we do this one, find Lina, the resident, and get her here, and they will do a BD together, then maybe he will be permanently thinking she is her. Right? Well, we are given a task, so. Really? Uh, they really should fix this. Rising Z also. No, I can't change it anymore. Okay. Let's do this one. Uh, yeah. That's what we are tasked to do. Being a good merc. Help. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Ow. Yeah, I was supposed to be landing on that, not on this. There is some blood on there. Oh. Is that a car that I can take? Why can't I save? Why does F5 not work? I'm pressing F5. Oh, game saved. Game saved. Really? 24, yeah, it is saved. Weird. Another one over there, yeah. He won't see it.
uh, really? Who found it? Oh, did he saw it? No. Really? Okay. Hold on. Excuse me. You're not seeing anything, okay? up there we can't get to that just yet you're coming here someone shot me don't shot you no I did not what are you what are you talking about whoa hello One hundred and twelve. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of RAM. You come over here. It's a bit annoying that just one knife shot doesn't kill them. I'm glad that my gun is fast enough to do a final kill. Can't I? Why can't I just do a takedown? Do I need to reload? Because we also don't see the tape. Or do we? I don't know if that's fixed or not. How can I take him down? Um, let's go to the main menu and just reload. Maybe that helps. Still nothing. I still can't. Ugh. Still can't take it down. I can also not use a knife.
for this one. No. They won't make a dent. But he is watching that one. Uh, this is going to be tricky. Yeah, you're right. It's always a tiny bit of health that they have left. Always. I throw a knife in their head, they have like 5 X XP or left or something. Alright, let's try that again. Ooh. I guess we have to get closer. And climb faster with left shift. Okay, that's useful to know. Okay, only he is up now. I over Apparently I can override it. Not sure what that does do, but... Okay. Well, that's that. That was close. Alrighty. That's that. Alright, there's the car that we can drive, maybe. was mine now. Wrong side. I have no idea where I'm going by the way. I think I'm going the wrong way, yeah. According to the GPS I suppose I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, I need to go outside. Okay, sure. 